Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It's the weekend again, and uh, the time goes so fast these days, which is great for me because I'm just waiting for spring to come. So the faster it goes, the happier I am. So uh, we're here for empties. Not my basket is empty almost itself. I did not change my waxes frequently this week because I was uh, melting the uh garden collection from Scentsy so that took up a lot of melting time so hopefully I'll get back to uh you know a more regular melting routine next week but anyway let's get to it there's nothing here hardly at all uh I finished uh Avon this is my deodorant of choice uh skin so soft I use the sun soft and sensual uh fragrance which is barely any fragrance at all really um but uh, I use this because I know in the U.S. when I had one of my coworkers was a Sensi consultant or a Sensi rep, whatever, uh, not Sensi, Avon. And um, when they would go on sale for 99 cents, I would buy like 10 at a time. So I really like it. It keeps me dry. Mm, it's totally fine. So I have, I just opened my last one, which is in the restroom now. And so... I was, I don't have a Avon friend here, so I just kind of went and on the website and there is a deal in Canada, five for $10. So not quite as good as a US deal, but still pretty good. So I did order five more. Uh, for candle, I finished hot cocoa and cream, and this is a single wick candle from Bath Body Works. And this, um, this has been going a long time. I haven't been lighting too many candles lately, so it's been on the go off and on for at least a month. And so it's lost most of its scent now just because I haven't been lighting it and it's just kind of sitting there and, you know, I light it and I don't. Anyway, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, hot cocoa cream generally is um, <coughs> super strong. Uh, it doesn't have scent notes, but it's hot cocoa and cream. And usually it's super, super strong. The three of a candle, super strong. Even this little guy <coughs> uh, was strong as well. But again, that's it's just been, you know, going off and on for too long. But anyway, so hot cocoa and cream, if you like, this smells exactly like a packet of Swiss Miss. And if you open that packet and you love it, you probably should be picking up this candle when it's out again. Maybe it'll come back for, um, what's the big sale? <sighs> semi-annual sale um next time I don't know but anyway hot cocoa and cream and as soon as you light it or you don't even have to light it when you take the lid off the small one and the large one you, it's like oh my god Swiss Miss yes okay uh what I did not finish was but I'm almost finished um autumn pumpkin these are the wax melts from uh homeworks that were on the QVC website several years ago, and I really, really enjoyed them. So when they went on sale, I bought, the, uh, bought them all again. So I had lots of them. Uh, I don't have too many left. This is pumpkin, orange, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. And I like this because it, it is spicy, but not cinnamon spicy. You also get the other notes of cardamom, clove, and nutmeg. So that was really good. Maybe I'll leave that out and try to finish that. Um, I melted um, a poinsettia from Vintage Chic Scents. Christmas time is here. Sugar cookies, Christmas trees, and a hint of peppermint. And that was really good. I love the poinsettias. And this was poured in uh, November 2020. So two and a half years old. And it still had a decent throw. What didn't blow me out of the house, but it was okay. Uh, this was really good. Destination Wax Cranberry Balsam. Fur balsam, spice cranberries, apples, oranges, and red grapefruit. And I really love Rebecca's Wax. And this also still had pretty good throw. This was poured 6 of 22, so it's just six months old. And then for Scentsy Empties, uh, Cranberry huckle Huckleberry and Clementine. This is so good. Uh, huckleberry preserves clementine a sprig of strawberry vine so this was the first maybe the first wax of anybody retail vendor whatever no i take that back tea time from sensationals was the first one i ever hoarded i bought a whole sleeve a couple of times and i wish it would come back anyway um so i guess i'll just say sensi this is the first sensi wax scentsy bar that i ever hoarded huckleberry and clementine i used to have like 10 or 12 of them i think i have three left um 
and it's still friggin' amazing. This, that says bring back my bar. I don't know how old it is. I don't know, but it still is good, good, good. Definitely tart, juicy berries. I love this so much. Really, really good. And then apple cherry strudel. This one is in my Scentsy Club. Will never come out again. I made that mistake. It won't come out again. Oh, so good. Uh, apples and cherries and strudel. It's, if you love bakery scents, you definitely need to try this one. It's really, really good. And that's all I have. Can you imagine that? Um, so tomorrow, um, since it's Saturday, I'll be talking about the garden collection. And then the week after that, I'll melt the two uh, picks that the previous two uh, not owners, but the um, subscribers watch your pick. And I'll do that next week and then we'll continue on. Um, anyhow, that's it for now. Um... I think that's it for now. Oh, bricks. Bricks are coming. So if you want, if you love bricks, if you collect the bricks, stay tuned. The bricks are coming. Okay. Okay. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.